notification. Oh, right there in front of me. Okay. Um, uh, automation, so you know, automated tests and stuff like that, I assume. Uh, agile transformation in general, and <coughs> implementation of Agile. Um, okay, so somebody walk me through. So is this implementation of an Agile transformation question? Or is this implementation of code? The continuous delivery other thing, right? So if you want to implement agile, it is not only a this is not you want to end to end delivery. Yeah. That's from the uh, starting requirement analysis to till that automation, continuous delivery and stuff, right? Yeah. Or we can implement in the ordinary system. Well, I'm a, I'm obviously a bit biased, but I would point you at discipline agile, right? Because you've got two choices, right? You can do scrum and spend a lot of time, a lot of money figuring all those issues out. Or you could spend ten dollars in the Discipline Agile Delivery Book and um, have you know, have proven uh, practices in place that work through end to end and show you how to do it. So ten dollars, or probably hundreds of thousands of dollars um, of learning opportunities, if not millions. So yeah, it, it, it's all out there. Uh, yeah, because if you don't, um, most scrum teams are in this water scrum fall situation where you get the heavy upfront requirement stuff going on, which is not helping. You got Scrum in the middle, okay, that's a good thing. And then you've got heavy back end deployment transition stuff. Not a good, generally not a good thing, right? So if you want if you want to get off that treadmill, you've got to have you gotta look at the full end to end life cycle. And that means there's phases, none of this nonsense of is there a sprint zero or not, crap bull, I'm sure you hear those arguments all the time. It, yes there is, roughly ninety five percent of Azure teams do some sort of upfront stuff. Because you've got to put the team together, you've got to do initial requirements, do some initial architecture stuff, do some initial planning, you know, identify the you know, identify the stories somehow. That takes a little bit of time. Right? So it's happening. So let's be effective at it. Let's streamline, let's be honest that it's happening. Stop arguing about it. Observe that it's happening. Choose to make it streamlined. Right? Choose to you know understand that this deployment stuff is happening and let's streamline that. Let's do continuous deployment, continuous delivery, automate the heck out of everything. All that sort of stuff, right? Let's choose to get better at this thing. And you gotta have the full, you gotta have a full life cycle view. And it's more of a life cycle than just that, of course, but you gotta have this full beginning to end view of the life cycle with all aspects of the life cycle, not just the you know change management, the leadership stuff, but you know, architecture, design, all these other things. And let's streamline it, streamline it all. And it's gotta be context sensitive because one process does not fit all. Because a, a small team will work differently than a large team. A team that's distributed across the globe will work differently than a team that's co-located. A team in a regulatory environment will work differently than a team in a non-regulatory environment. This team of this group of people here will work differently than, than, than this group of people because they're unique individuals. Right? So one process size does not fit all. So these prescriptive processes, so I was talking about this earlier, there's all this pushback now against process in the Agile community and it's not pushback against process, it's really pushback against prescription. This one size fits, fits all nonsense. Yeah, but we're all doing processes, right? All the time. We're all, yeah, it might not be written down, but we're still following process stuff. We're following practices, we're following strategies. Are we following the right ones? Are we doing it the right way? Are we doing it the right, to the right extent at the right time? Those are all valid questions, right? So, so anyways, um, yeah, uh, I, would, I would invite you to take a look at Discipline Agile because we've solved these problems. And we give you, and it's context sensitive, we give you options, it's the it depends framework. Uh, we don't prescribe a thing. We're probably, the only, we're probably the only real, it's probably the only real process framework out there because it's not prescriptive. So, but anyways, don't trust me in that. Look into it yourself. Do not trust me in that at all. I don't want to be accused of marketing. Discipline Agile.